I love this old King's Bench case. In 1772, Parliament passed the Royal Marriages Act, which basically declared that the descendants of King George II could not marry without the permission of the king. In 1793, however, a love story took place. Prince Augustus Frederick, son of King George III, was on a trip to Rome when he met and fell in love with Lady Augusta Murray. They found a clergyman from the Church of England and married right there in Rome. When they returned to England, they married again. Augustus, however, did not have the king's permission. The marriage was annulled. Augustus and Augusta didn't care. They scandalously remained together until 1801 and had a son and a daughter. In 1801, Augustus was offered cash and several titles if he separated from her. She was offered £4,000 per year, the equivalent of more than half a million dollars a year in current terms. They parted, but in the fashion of a true love story, Augustus refused to remarry until after Augusta had died. He had no other children. When Augustus died in 1843, his son with Augusta stepped forward and claimed the title of Duke of Sussex. He claimed that the Royal Marriages Act, an act of Great Britain, could not be binding on marriages formed outside Great Britain. He claimed that Augustus and Augusta had been properly married when he was born, and that he was the new Duke. The question was referred to the Attorney General and ultimately to the King's Bench. It turned on a question of statutory interpretation. The statute said that every marriage or matrimonial contract of the king's descendants without consent shall be null and void to all intents and purposes whatsoever. Could this apply to marriages outside England? To work this out, the judges expressed what has become known as the literal rule of statutory interpretation. That where the words of a statute have a clear meaning, that meaning must be followed. The judges said... If the words of the statute are in themselves precise and unambiguous, then no more can be necessary than to expound those words in their natural and ordinary sense. The words themselves alone best declare the intention of the lawgiver. The judges found that every marriage meant every marriage, no matter where it was formed. The son of Augustus was not appointed Duke of Sussex. Mm -hmm.